taken a desk job because of my desire to fly. I really enjoy it. And flying a desk just doesn't seem like something that appeals to me. I think part of me always had that urge to become a pilot because I grew up around aviation and I just honestly I can't imagine or, or can't think of a time when it was something that I didn't want to do. It's, uh, it's more like I can't imagine not flying, not, not being a pilot. I knew I wanted to become a pilot but as I got and I learned more about aviation and what it took then I knew I wanted to be a fighter pilot. The F-16 has been around for almost uh, 30 years now. It's a fly-by-wire, single-engine, single-seat airplane. It can go as high as 50,000 feet, and it can go as fast as 2.05 Mach. This jet is designed to pull 9 Gs, and we routinely, on air-to-air -air sorties, pull between uh, 7.5 to 9 Gs. And that hurts a lot, because if you can imagine whatever your body weight is, I, let's just, uh, for easy math, say you're 100 pounds, if you're pulling 9 Gs, suddenly you're 900 pounds and things you don't think about or consider very often suddenly become very important like your noggin. Your noggin is about 15 pounds. You don't really think about how much your head weighs when you're standing around walking around at 1G and 0 knots, but when you're going 500 knots and you're pulling 9 Gs, 15 pounds suddenly becomes a very, very heavy weight to put on your neck. And you add a helmet on top of that, you're probably getting more towards uh, 20 pounds and suddenly you've got 180 pounds sitting on top of your neck. If you're interested in aviation, you need to learn about the atmosphere, you need to learn about physics, you need to be strong in math. I use it every day. I was just using it today as we were flying around trying to add numbers very quickly in my head. It gets complicated, but that shouldn't scare you off. If you can cheat yourself to remember information in short bursts, that'll help you as well. And you've got to be brave. To become